Hi everyone, Man here from Jaded Blossom and today is the last day of my Christmas Octagon Treat Box Treat Front videos. Hey everybody, so I made that elf earlier using the Octagon Dyes Christmas Add-ons 1 along with the Octagon Dyes Christmas Add-ons 2 and the Oct Octagon Treat Box Die along with the Tropical Dyes 2, Stitched Oval Dyes, Heart Dyes 2, Elf Wishes Stamp Set, Octagon Treat Box. I also use the bow dies and I'm using the Christmas Magic 6 inch pad. So I've got a piece of Paper Tray Ink um, pure, pure Poppy cardstock, 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches using my Martha Stewart scoreboard and a Teflon bone folder. There we go. Now this is going to be a very simple card. There we go. And I cut a piece of paper from that Christmas Magic, one eighth of an inch smaller than the HU sized um, card front or the HU sized card. And I'm just going to stick that down using my um, ATG tape. There we go. Now everything that I use to make the elf will be listed on my blog, like all the paper and everything like that. So I went ahead and I cut out a second little octagon for her body out of that pink dot from Christmas Magic six inch pad. And I'm going to stick that down onto my card base. So this is gonna be her little body. So easy stuff. Of course, I just got to get it lined up, right? <laughs> and then it'll be easy. There we go. And then I'm going to pop her cute little head on with some ATG tape. Like, how cute is that? I made a whole bunch of these treat fronts in one of the videos, uh, one of my past videos. You can check that out. There we go. And now I cut out the heart, um, the stitched heart dies. Um, that's from the heart dies two, uh, three and three eighths inches uh, by three and an eighth inch. There we go. And I stamped a sentiment from that Elf Wishes stamp set in Juicy Ink, Ink on Three's Juicy Ink, and I used Ranger Detail White Embossing Powder and my Marvy Heat Tool to melt it. I didn't think you'd want to see that. And I cut out the feet from the Tropical Dyes using that same pink, that's pink from Doodlebug's cardstock. And I'm popping them both up, sort of like she's sitting down holding this little heart. And then I cut out two of the smallest stitched oval dies um, out of that same peach cardstock that I used for her skin. There we go. And I'm just going to put it like she's holding that little heart. Isn't that cute? Like how easy is that? Now I've got a piece of just cheap cardstock. This is the Nina um, Solar Crest 65 pound, cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to add that to the interior of my card with my ATG tape, sticking it down, perfect. Now I'm going to add a little strip of paper. Um, I'm thinking it's about a half, a half an inch, but it was just left over. So it's from that Christmas Wishes, Wishes stamp set. And I'm going to add that to the bottom just to, you know, add, jazz up the interior a little bit. There we go. Fun, fun stuff. I am loving these octagon dies. You really need them in your life. How cute is that? Now I went ahead and I grabbed my um, secure white jelly roll pen in a number 10. I'm going to add some freckles to her little cheeks and a few highlights um, over this little girl. Isn't she cute? Uh, I love the little bow dies. I made the little pigtails um, out of the um, little squiggly line that you're supposed to use for the gingerbread man. Um, I just cut out three of them and cut them in half and I made two pigtails. Really easy stuff. Adding some highlights here. And like this was a super simple card to make, especially once the little heads were all done. So easy. There we go. And I love the little feet. These were the little flip-flop dies from the Tropical Dies too. Perfect, ha perfectly handy if you have them from Jaded Blossom. There we go, add a little bit of a highlight on the little bell. How cute is that? And I'll add some to the holly too, why not? So easy, easy stuff. Just gotta love it. It's so sweet. And like I said, the fastest card in the West, really. Like I said, a fast, fast video. But you can go back and watch. I'm There's a video where I make nine of these treat fronts. Um, and you can go back in the videos and watch that one. And I show you in detail how I make each one, um, what pieces I use. And, um, you know, you can choose whatever paper, you, paper you'd like. And it, it just how cute is that? The little cheeks are inked up or not inked up. The little cheeks are chalked up with some EK Success chalk. Isn't that cute? So on the inside, I'm going to stamp a sentiment. Now, this little uh, elf looks so innocent, but on the outside, it says, let's get elfed up. And then on the inside, it says, hope your holidays are festive AF. And I won't tell you what that means, but you know what it means. So I just thought it was just really funny. Now, if you don't like 
those kind of naughty sentiments. Um, you can certainly put a little elf wishes and candy cane kisses on the inside. There's some really cute little sentiments from Jada Blossom that you could use too. But that's about it. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, the Jada Blossom store. Get your hands on their amazing products. And thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.